Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, and welcome to Ultimate Extreme Blues Deluxe Part 2, which I was never going to fucking do. But I've gotten so much fucking praise from Ultimate Extreme Blues Deluxe Part 1, which originally was just called Blues Deluxe without Part 1. And uh, you might know it as Secrets to Playing Blues Guitar that no one ever told you about, or some shit like that. But anyway... I've gotten so much feedback from that from that VHS video that people have been sending me mail through the uh, post office, all kinds of fucking mail, and I've heard the same thing over and over. They're like, this is fucking unbelievable how this unlocked the secrets to blues playing, but here's what fucking happened. I sucked at guitar, especially blues guitar, and then all of a sudden I was playing my ass off in no fucking time by using the secrets that you told me in that video. But then this is what happened. Then all of a sudden I couldn't play anymore. I couldn't play worth a fuck. And I'm going to explain that in here because I've heard that from too many people and I actually figured out the problem to that. But first I'd also like to uh, go over a couple things that the critics said about that last fucking video, Ultimate Extreme Blues Deluxe. Um, critically acclaimed. Guitar Struggles Magazine named that fucking video shittiest video of the year. And this is what they said about it. Here's a little snippet. Shittiest video of the year. This is a shit that everybody's going to want to take. Okay, but it's shitty, but that means that you're going to want to take it. And then further down, and I might put that up on the screen here where you can see, Ultimate Extreme Blues Deluxe, shittiest video ever. But the last time you ever smelled shit this good, you were smelling your own shit. All right, so well, that's a fucking good compliment because I know people, but everybody likes the, the smell of their own shit. So... As far as a shitty video goes, this is, that, those are some pretty good fucking uh, compliments and good awards. Shittiest video of the fucking year, so definitely check it out. And if we were in the future, where like say you could make VHS tapes, but it would come through a computer or something, I would leave a link right down below that you could check that out. All right. So now we're gonna get into what everybody wanted to fucking talk about. I watched your revolutionary fucking video, and now I suck at guitar again. I got really good at guitar, and then I sucked at it. I think we talked about last time. As a matter of fact, I know we talked about last time. Blues playing has nothing to do with guitar at all. Nothing to do with knowing notes and shit. It's all about... It's all about fucking having loved and lost or being on hard times and falling into shit. And we used the example last time of the best blues player ever is Ralph Macchio, daniel son. All right? Some people say B.B. King and all that shit, but we've been through this. Watch the first video. No one plays blues guitar like daniel son. And you might say Ry Cooter, but everyone knows that uh, daniel son, fucking Ralph Macchio played on all his records for him and did all the fucking hard parts. So what did we learn from the last video? That Daniel, Eugene, got a broken heart because that girl left him, blah, blah, blah. So the whole thing is, you want to dig into your own pain and your personal fucking loss, okay? So in your own life, you need to think about, excuse me, the girl with the nicest piece of pussy you ever fucking saw in your life, and then you got to fuck it, and you got to fuck it maybe a couple times, but then you know what? She left you. She left you, and you're still in love with her, okay? You're still in love with her, and you only know a blue scale. <laughs> That's as good as you can fucking play, okay? But then if you start thinking about how you lost it, oh, and I, I don't want to be unfair, because it might be that maybe you're not into chicks, maybe you're into dudes, and it's like, man, this dude just had the juiciest dick that I ever, and I just fucking loved this dick, and now he's giving that dick away to other dudes, and I used to just, I would double fist this dick uh, into my fucking mouth, and I'm so fucking sad now, and all I can do is fucking jack off and cry and think about it. And whatever else you like doing with dicks, I would put it in my ass and then in my mouth. Whatever the fuck you want to do. It's about, you know, hard fucking times and hard feelings and broken hearts and all that kind of fucking shit. So all you know is that blues get... And you don't even have any vibrato because you're just learning it. You're like... We've all been there. So what we learned from the last tape is that you're supposed to take that fucking heartache and shit 
and put it into the fucking guitar. So now you're not thinking that much about that girl, or when you are, you're thinking about how can I play the guitar, and you're focusing all your fucking energy into that. And then before you know it, this turns into... Which is that great blues playing? Not really, but I'm just saying this is how fast it fucking happens. All right, so you're like focusing and focusing, and you just want to be a great guitar player now, and you're not thinking about that girl and that pussy or that dick as much, and you're not thinking about how that girl just keeps sending you Polaroids of other dudes' dicks inside her fucking pussy. But you're feeling that pain, and then you're still playing guitar, and you're like, fuck. I fucking hate this, because all I know how to do is play in box one. So then you just keep working, and all of a sudden, then you're like... You learn fucking box, too. And then all of a sudden, you're sounding a little better. And see what's happening here? Because all of a sudden, and this is where you're fucking up. Because all of a sudden, now, you're starting to love the guitar, and you're not starting to feel all that pain and loss that you were feeling. And you're putting it into the guitar. And two days ago... Or two months ago, you were playing like this. But now you're like... And it's so much better. See, what's happening now is you're starting to feel happy about the guitar playing because the guitar playing was so fucking important to you. And now all of a sudden you're feeling happy and you lost everything you needed about the blues, was your, miser was your fucking misery and sadness. So now all of a sudden you're like, oh fuck, I can't play anymore, what the fuck? And now you're back to square one and you're all fucking pissed off. You were just happy, now you're pissed off and you gotta fucking start over. And you're like, what the fuck, I don't wanna do that. And then all of a sudden that makes you sad that you put all this fucking work into it. Then all of a sudden you're back to fucking... the sadness. So see what I mean? It's impossible to play the fucking blues because it's so attached to your emotions. And it's like when you first learned how to ride a bike, it's like as soon as all of a sudden it's like, holy fuck, I'm riding the bike. But then when you think about it, then you fucking fall over and you bust your fucking head open because this is the 1980s and we don't wear fucking helmets like a bunch of fags when we fucking ride our bikes around when we were little fucking kids. So you see what I'm saying? It's completely impossible. Now, I don't know how the fuck B.B. King does it, but but here's the other thing that people were writing into me. They're like, well, you know what? You talk about all this heartbreak that fucking Ralph Macchio had losing pussy. Well, what about Willie Brown? I didn't see him lose any pussy in the whole fucking movie. And you know what I say to that? And people are like, well, what the fuck does he have to see, be sad about? Well, how about he's fucking blind, okay? The motherfucker's fucking blind and was in a crooked fucking nursing home. So if, if you don't want to be like Ralph Macchio and you want to be like him, fucking dump a bunch of fucking acid in your eyes. And then go to a nursing home. And then he didn't even play the guitar. He played the fucking harmonica, which is an inferior fucking instrument. Plus, he sold his soul. So, so I'm starting to think that's the only way that you can stay on a steady fucking keel with this shit. Because, like I said, once you fucking focus on that motherfucking sadness, and, you put, and all you want to do is play guitar, and then... And something sounds half-ass fucking good, you know... sudden you start getting happy and being happy is the opposite of what you need for the fucking blues so i don't know what the fuck to tell you man and i don't know what the fuck to tell myself it's an imperfect <clears throat> it's like a crackhead chasing his first fucking hit of crack you're never gonna fucking get there so uh, i don't know i'll tell you what i'm gonna do that, that's why i play metal because i spend most of my time pissed off because if my girlfriend leaves me half the time it makes me fucking happy anyway because i was fucking tired of her and i know i'm a fucking asshole too so stop fucking crying about your girlfriend and stop fucking crying and jacking off and crying and jacking off and then having people watch you while you're jacking off and crying and fucking rubbing out two fucking dicks at the same fucking time or whatever the fuck you're doing to try and be sad. Either just be mad and play fucking metal or it's the fucking 80s. Just play Miss Pac-Man all fucking day long rather than play the fucking blues because to me, you know, Miss Pac-Man's never going to fucking let you down. So fuck.
I hope this finally cleared some shit up about the blues and why it's impossible to play the fucking blues, all right? Fuck. And I realize that a lot of you people are struggling with this, but I'm going to tell you what. As long as I'm making videos, your struggles are most definitely my struggles. And in the future, if they ever have, like, VHS tapes that can come to you in your own home through a fucking computer or something like that, I'm going to make that my stupid catchphrase. Your struggles are my struggles. I don't even know what the fuck that means. But 30 fucking years from now, that's going to be my catchphrase. So learn these fucking blues, and then give up the fucking blues, because it's you're just fucking chasing your dick. There's a, give up the fucking blues. That, that's what this whole fucking two-part video is. It, it's impossible, okay, unless you sell your fucking soul. That's what I got. Thanks a lot for buying this fucking video. No, you're not getting a bumper sticker, and I'm out of here.